In the vast timeline of Earth's existence, there have been in total of five mass extinction events, each one inflicting catastrophic damage on the ecosystem and threatening life as we know it. Among these, the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction stands as the last and perhaps the most widely recognized. Responsible for decimating three-quarters of Earth's plant and animal life, it most famously brought an end to the nearly 150 million year dynasty of the iconic non-avian dinosaurs. In fact, the ecological devastation caused by this extinction event was so profound that it serves as a defining boundary, marking the conclusion of the Mesozoic era and the onset of the Cenozoic roughly 66 million years ago. In this video, we'll delve into the causes of this catastrophe, exploring the events leading up to it, its unfolding, and its aftermath. The mystery surrounding dinosaur extinction has captivated paleontologists for decades. Numerous hypotheses, ranging from supernova explosions to diseases, from competition with mammals to even wild ideas like alien abduction, have been proposed to explain this phenomenon. Yet the most plausible explanations have always pointed to volcanic activity or collisions with extraterrestrial objects. Since the 1980s, much attention has centered on the so-called asteroid theory. This gained prominence when physicist Luis Alvarez and his son, geologist Walter Alvarez, discovered an unusually high concentration of iridium in sedimentary layers worldwide at the Cretaceous-Paleogene boundary. Iridium, typically rare in Earth's crust, is more commonly found in comets and asteroids, Consequently, the idea of an extraterrestrial impact has become widely accepted. This theory gained further credibility when scientists linked the extinction event to a massive impact crater off the coast of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Named after the nearby Mexican town Chicxulub, this crater spans an estimated 180 kilometers or about 110 miles in diameter and roughly 20 kilometers or about 12 miles in depth. Based on these estimations, scientists concluded that a colossal asteroid with a diameter exceeding 10 kilometers about the size of Mount Everest collided with Earth. However, despite the compelling evidence, this theory has faced some skepticism. While most paleontologists agree that an asteroid struck Earth at the end of the Cretaceous period, there is still some dispute over whether the impact was the sole cause of the massive extinction. One contributing factor may have been the Deccan Traps. In what is now central India, during the very end of the Cretaceous period, there was a significant amount of volcanic activity for several hundred thousand years, releasing gases into the atmosphere and greatly affecting global climate. With this in mind, it is entirely possible that the asteroid impact served rather as the final blow to an already weakened ecosystem. This extinction event unfolded in two main phases, the immediate effects of the impact and the long-term consequences triggered by it. When the asteroid struck Earth, it unleashed energy equivalent to a billion atomic bombs, producing immense heat and brightness exceeding that of a million suns, visible from thousands of miles away. The impact explosion initiated a series of events, including shock waves, earthquakes, and mega tsunamis, hundreds of meters tall, flooding the coastlines worldwide. Additionally, the impact ejected a massive volume of debris into the atmosphere. Eventually, these fragments were pulled back by the planet's gravity, bombarding the surface and igniting everything in their path, transforming the surface into a living hell. Furthermore, the impact released gases and dust into the atmosphere, leading to acid rain and the resulting acidification of oceans. This ejected cloud covered the globe, blocking sunlight for years. The absence of sunlight eliminated photosynthesis, leading to the demise of plants and the subsequent extinction of herbivores and their predators. Interestingly, recent research suggests that by drastically affecting the climate, 
this cloud may have been more destructive to the ecosystem than the initial impact itself. The KPG extinction event was severe, global, and rapid, affecting all continents and wiping out more than 75% of all species. Generally, all life is known to have been affected by this cataclysm. However, despite its severity, the rate of extinction varied significantly among different groups of organisms. The first organisms to feel the effects of these changes were those dependent on photosynthesis, as atmospheric particles blocked sunlight. For instance, in North America, 57% of plant species disappeared. The destruction of plants led to a proliferation of saprotrophic organisms, such as fungi, which do not rely on photosynthesis. However, this dominance was short-lived. Once the atmosphere cleared, photosynthetic organisms began to return. Following the plant extinction came the demise of herbivores, which was later followed by carnivores. Yet, thanks to the increased availability of food sources, omnivores, insectivores, and scavengers managed to survive by taking advantage of the abundance of extinction's aftermath literally feasting on extinction. Among reptiles, surviving groups include animals like turtles or snakes. In the case of archosaurs, a group containing dinosaurs and pterosaurs, the only lineages that survived were those leading to modern birds and crocodilians. The marine ecosystem also suffered significant losses, with most large marine reptiles, such as plesiosaurs or mosasaurs, being wiped out. Even ammonoids, a highly diverse group of marine mollusks related to modern-day cephalopods like squid and octopuses did not survive, despite having endured the previous three mass extinctions. Generally, larger animals struggled more than smaller animals in the aftermath of this event, as seen with no tetrapods weighing more than 25 kilograms or 55 pounds surviving this extinction. The KPG extinction event had a profound impact on the evolution of life on this planet. With the elimination of dominant groups such as dinosaurs, one of the Earth's greatest dynasties, new opportunities arose for other organisms to fill the vacant ecological niches. Survivors which would later form the basis of all species we see today. Out of the ashes rose one of the greatest bloodlines, the mammals creatures that had previously lived in the shadows of more successful groups during the Mesozoic era. Initially small, these early mammalian ancestors gradually diversified and evolved into various forms. However, dinosaurs did not entirely disappear. One group of dinosaurs survived the apocalypse, more specifically avian dinosaurs, also known as the birds. Yet one can only speculate about the potential heights dinosaurs could have reached if it weren't for the asteroid. It's entirely possible they would still continue to reign over the Earth to this day. But that is a topic for another time.